Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find how much fluid a solid will hold when that solid is based on rotating a region about a particular axis. So suppose someone is designing a collectible shot glass in the shape of the parabola, and we have some information missing here. So this is rotated about the y-axis from x equals zero centimeters to x equals three centimeters. And how much fluid will this glass hold? So again, with problems like these, it's always best to start with a sketch. So here's a sketch of the region. And let's quickly just to remind ourselves, what do glasses or cup drinking cups look like, or shot glasses in particular? Well, shot glasses typically look something, look something like this, and they hold fluid. And in this case, the inside of the shot glass is gonna look like a parabola. So when we fill it, the fluid will go here. And we wanna figure out what's the max amount of fluid I can fit inside of this shot glass. So our region we actually want is this region right here. So this is what we are actually rotating about the y axis. All right, so before we set up our integral, if we had found the volume of this region rotated about the y axis, you'd actually be finding how much of the glass is being used to make this shot glass because that's what this part of the region is. And actually, if I wanna make this look more like the actual um, solid we're making, this should come right up to the bottom here. But we don't want the amount of material that can be used to make this glass. We want how much fluid will hold or be held inside this glass, which is why this is our region and not this. So this region would give you the material, whereas this region here gives you the fluid. All right, so let's go ahead and set up our integral. Well, what is a cross section going to look like? So let's start by drawing a slice. And to do that, I need to get rid of this. Now that we're certain what axis we're rotating about, our slice would be right here of this region. And so this slice, what is the thickness of this slice, the width of the slice? That's this distance here. That's the change in y. This is delta y. So our volume is going to look like the integral of the area of this region and this is written with respect to y, and we're integrating with respect to y. So here's our cross section, and here is the radius of this cross section. Again, if we're thinking of this as a shot glass, it's gonna look like this. So when we sliced our cross section, we actually sliced a nice little circular piece out of the middle. So this cross section here corresponds with just one part of the cross section, and this is the entire cross section drawn in a two-dimensional format. So in that case, we have to figure out what is R, and in this case, R is right here. And again, R changes depending on where you are along this curve. So. R here is longer, or has more length than R here. So we know R equals X, and in this case, what is X equal? Well, let's rewrite this. X equals the square root of three Y. So that means my area, or the area of this cross section, is equal to pi times the square root of three y quantity squared, or just three pi y. So now we can set up our volume. And the volume is equal to the integral of three pi y dy, and we're integrating from zero all the way to three. So you have three pi times y squared over two from zero to three, which works out to be 27 pi over two, centimeters cubed and we don't really think of our liquid in centimeters cubed and if you do a quick conversion um, you end up with about 1.4 ounces so this is about 1.4 ounces is what this uh, collectible shot glass would hold as far as fluid i hope this video was helpful